My name is Brad Reed, and uh, I co-own Todd and Brad Reed Photography with my dad. We have a gallery in downtown Ludington, and uh, we've grown our business quite a bit in the last several years. And we're known for outdoor, landscape, nature, wildlife, uh, photography in Michigan, and um, we have a lot of fun. It's great working with my dad, and there's a lot of benefits to a father and son team because uh, we have twice the odds of getting a good shot when the light is great. And uh, if one of us gets a better shot than the other, you know, we are a little competitive. But in the end, we both win because we make more money that way and can do more fun projects together. And, um, we learn a lot from each other. Um, even though my dad had been shooting for a long time, I kind of got him into digital and taught him all of that. And of course, he taught me manual exposure and metering and composition and, and along with composition we've helped each other because his natural tendency is the grand scenic a distinct foreground middle ground background real wide angle and he's sold a lot of those kind of photographs and I'm much more the close-up abstract detail uh, you may not even know or realize what it is when you're looking at the photo and I've helped him see the world better that way. So, uh, it's been great and uh, people always ask, you know, do you get along or how does it go and uh, we always have a, a blast together and like most married couples, usually the only issues are money or, you know, how are we going to pay for this and in a small business, we don't take a lot of money home. Um, yet someday we hope to most of the money we do make goes into paying our staff and uh, paying for big projects we self-publish all of our books so the last book the tuesdays with tom brad reed a michigan tribute we borrowed off almost a quarter of a million dollars to do that so it's a big leap of faith and luckily our wives are very supportive of what we do and uh, we make 70 percent of our money in eight weeks between july and august and it's kind of a feast or famine. That's the beauty of working with a local bank, West Shore Bank. They've been awesome to work with and have a lot of faith in our business. So that's been good. And as our business has grown and our reputation and our name, uh, we've worked out a really good deal with Pure Michigan and uh, supply them with quite a few photos. And they've done some video shoots on us. And, it's become a good win-win. They help promote us at a whole different level that we couldn't reach on our own, and we're supplying them with great uh, photos and video of Michigan. And uh, it's helped both of our businesses, I think. And uh, anything that's good for Michigan is good for us. And we're excited where uh, Michigan is going. Ludington is becoming more of a, a service tourist town and um, less blue collar, less factories. And we're transitioning into that and our business is a perfect fit for that. And, uh, so we do a, a lot of work promoting Ludington, but we also uh, now have kind of grown and we're now promoting Michigan. First thing I did on day one was borrow some money and bought two digital SLR cameras and a Macintosh computer and Photoshop. We use the Nikon D7000 camera bodies, and my dad actually just upgraded to the Nikon D600. It's our first full frame camera. Uh, we use a mix of Sigma and Nikon lenses. I'm a huge fan of Sigma just because the quality is so good at a great value, and they're really sharp. Um, we tend to use really fast lenses, 2.8 or faster, so we're paying for that heavier sharper glass but you know kind of like great output if you go to all this work and you don't have a fast sharp lens you're kind of wasting your time so we spend the money on on good equipment and we use it people are always so shocked to see us out in a huge snowstorm or 70 mile an hour windstorm on Lake Michigan and sandblasted but we have good insurance on our equipment and we use it if if the weather is bad, that's probably when you'll see us out shooting. And we love to shoot when it's raining, but the sun is out, or it's snowing, but the sun is out. And uh, that can be hard on equipment, but the better the equipment is made, the better it lasts. And 
again, if it gets ruined, it's just part of the job. It's like people that are in excavating, you know, they're beating up their bulldozers and excavators and uh, they got insurance on it. And if it gets ruined, they buy a new million dollar piece of equipment. Luckily ours are a little bit more affordable, but it's the same concept. You gotta, you gotta put them to the test and uh, we do that on a daily basis. It's been kind of fun seeing how our business has evolved and as we've grown in popularity, um, now it's often when I'm out in public, people know me, they know my name, they know my dad, uh, everybody knows my dad, and we have no clue who they are maybe, and they come up, they see the logos on our shirts or our trucks, and they wanna start chit-chatting and talk shop and photography. And we have 30 billboards around the state of Michigan, and uh, it's amazing the power of a billboard. Uh, it kind of puts you at a in people's mind at a different level, even though I think there's a lot of amazing photographers that don't have their images on billboards. When when people see that, they uh, think they really respect that, and so. Uh, when we're out and about now, if we're in Grand Rapids or Detroit, people see us, they may recognize a photo of us or uh, recognize the name and they come up and meet us. A lot of people consider the Point to Point region to be one of the best beaches as a whole in the whole world. And every couple years they do big uh, contests where are the best beaches and Ludington is always in the top 10. I think USA Today a few years ago voted Ludington City Beach the third best beach in the world and uh, we're just very fortunate to live here. I'm Sue Brown. Um, I'm a portrait photographer. I've been doing that for about 25 years. I went to school for that and um, I own my own business uh, along with my husband. Our busiest time is in the summer. Um, we kind of do have a season. Uh, we live in Ludington, Michigan, so the beach is really popular. Um, a lot of the photography I do are uh, families on the beach, high school seniors on the beach. Uh, we usually do maybe three sessions a day at the most. Most sessions run about an hour and a half, uh, and that, that would be like a high school senior session, and we usually, we would start here in the studio and do some uh, pictures in here, kind of get them warmed up, do that sort of thing. Uh, maybe take them out in our yard, we have a lot of props and things, and then we always end up at the beach, uh, just because, you know, we're blessed to have that here. Um, it's just a fun place to be creative. With each session that we do, that's always my goal, is to make it different, kind of take take what's there and create something that's not there. Kind of, you know, more of an art piece than just a picture. My husband, Steve, who was in the business with me, um, was in the Coast Guard. And so we traveled all over the country and this is where we landed. Uh, he retired in 2005 and we loved it here so much and we had kind of established the business. And so that's, um, that's why we stayed. It's a great community and the photographic opportunities here are just amazing. We have beautiful beaches, we have great wooded areas, the town is very historic so there's a lot of neat places around town that we can take people to really do unique and creative things. It's really people that I love. Um, you know I just love people's faces. Uh, I love to take people and you know, make them see how beautiful they are. You know, people are usually a little intimidated to be in front of the camera. And, you know, I love to turn that around and, you know, let, let them have fun, you know, show them how beautiful they are. That's just, that's just exciting to me. You know, when I have somebody come in after I photograph them and uh, a lot of times we do personal viewings afterwards here in the studio and, you know, to see that, to see them see how beautiful they are is, is really, really cool. This morning we did Melissa and you know we put her in some crazy outfit you know that I created from some tool and you know we wrapped her in branches and different things just to uh, you know be weird, be creative 
and uh, and that's kind of stuff is just like I said it just helps helps my mind grow and think differently um, a lot of times when we're doing stuff like that you know I'll, I'll light in a different way than I would do for a client but then what that does for me later is when I am photographing a client it gives me that ammunition okay I've tried this I know it works and uh, um, and then we did Alex this afternoon and um, that was really fun. It's in an old bed and breakfast that we photographed her in the attic and you know, old painting walls, a lot of interesting natural light there that, uh, you know, just fun to play with. I use a Nikon D800. Um, I use very limited lenses. I have a 28 millimeter that I love and a couple wide lenses. I'm, I'm not a big um, geek as far as equipment. Um, very simple and, and uh, like I said I used to shoot with a Hasselblad so the which had an 80 millimeter lens and so I've, I've kind of grown up being used to kind of that dimension and uh, I kind of just go back to that with my 85 millimeter lens which obviously is my favorite. Uh, my favorite time of the year to shoot uh, is in the fall and the spring. I think those are just more of the for me the extreme seasons you know in the spring you have the newness of everything everything's very green a um, lot of rain which is you know can be really fun um, in the fall obviously you have the colors uh, the clouds in the fall just I mean you know to me that's just amazing the sky is different every single day and you have all that drama in the sky and that's just you know that's just fun <laughs> I start out in Lightroom and that's where I do uh, a lot of my editing, narrowing down the ones that are my favorites. Um, from there, I'll do a little bit of editing as far as cropping and such, and uh, maybe a little darkening the edges or you know things like that. And then I bring them into Photoshop, and you know that's where kind of the, the fun happens. Um, some of the images I'll leave pretty simple. Um, like I said, I do like to light so that they are, you know, they can be finished that way just kind of right out of the camera oh, but it's fun to you know add some other things I love to add some like painterly effects to them that's really fun uh, I do use Corel painter sometimes just to you know really knock up that artistic some things photographically you can't do and when I envision a picture beforehand sometimes I'll envision maybe the hair like really blowing to the side and wispy and you know sometimes in painter I can take it like with a brush and just add that you know, later on where in real life that wouldn't be there, but that's kind of my vision. I do shoot a lot of uh, like boudoir type of things as well, which is, you know, just really, really fun. Um, you know, a woman's body is curvy and just showing that is just, you know, it's cool. I was very interested in art as a child and I would draw do a little bit of painting and that sort of thing. And then in high school, I was introduced to photography through like a class basically and that was back with film and you know we'd go in the dark room and develop them all that sort of thing and I kind of saw that as more of a viable career than drawing pictures at the time and I went to school for that and you know I've loved it ever since and then when digital came along and kind of gave me the opportunity to bring that art back into it more so um, you know, that's just opened up a whole new world and that's actually, it's kind of expanded my love of it even more because I can take, you know, something that I do for a living and something that I've always enjoyed um, and really meld them together. I think I do prefer the digital, uh, you know, that, that instant gratification, <laughs> you know, gets to be kind of addicted. So um, yeah, I'd have to say that, you know, I do miss some of the aspects of the, of the film um, you know, you had to be very precise with everything, and I try to still do that. Uh, and actually, I, having started with film actually taught me to really think about, you know, the image before me and um, perfect it really before I press the button, and, and I really still try to kind of shoot that same way. I went to put my name on the back of the car. <laughs> And I remember they were like sticking it on there and I was like, oh my gosh, you know, this is, this is real. This is, you know, what I've been wanting to do all my life.